Peace, love, and light, Leo Virgo Cusp Collective. Thank you so much for tuning in to Cusp of Roses Tarot for your ever so almost pretty much late <laughs> Capricorn season love reading. Thank you all so, so much for being patient with me and allowing these readings to come out in divine timing, allowing me to also go through my own integrations and my own ascension process, which does pull me away from YouTube a bit just so that I'm not spewing any of my surging energy or my kind of purgy energy um, out there for the collective to kind of pick up unless it's necessary, but that's another topic for another day okay but thank you all so much for your patience um we are in the very 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 beginning of aquarius season okay the energy does feel a little different but capricorn season energy is still hanging in there trickling off so we're going to try to tap into that um and then i'll definitely get into um an aquarius season reading for you guys soon okay but for now we're going to focus on what was going on or what has happened this past capricorn season and what we can get um, as far as just guidance from the divine for you all, all right? So thank you all for your likes, your comments, your shares, and subscriptions. They truly do mean the world to me. Um, thank you for positively engaging my channel. Um, for all those who are new, welcome to the Cusp of Roses family. You are so, so welcome here. And especially if you're not even a cusp, right? Um, I've gotten the comments that some of my readings do a good job of just um, captivating um or capturing the energy for just a single zodiac sign, a single energy, so, or just for a season for people's lives in one video. So take what resonates right, apply it to your own life. You know yourself better than any reader, okay? Um, tarot is a tool for you to sharpen your own intuition, okay? And that is the gift that I hope that these videos give for you to where you can be able to say, okay, yep, that's for me. Nope, that's not for me. Yep, that's for me. Nope, that's not for me, all right? And just keep it moving, keep it pushing, and just let that soak in. So I am just so grateful to connect with so many of you. Um, thank you all again for just sharing your love and light with me. And I pray that these videos are reciprocating that love and light back. Um, for those who are new, keep in mind that energy is fluid and time is an illusion, okay? So like I was saying, if you were watching this video, if it doesn't necessarily resonate with you now, it doesn't mean it won't resonate a couple days from now, a couple weeks from now, a couple months from now, even a whole year out, okay? I've definitely gotten comments about some of my like Sagittarius season readings resonating now as we're ending Capricorn season, right? So it's it's fluid right everyone's on their own energetic journey okay so just take what resonates with you if anything and leave the rest feel free to come back and check it out a little later in the seasons or you know just as some time has passed and see if you can get any um, more messages okay so essentially all of these are timeless i just use the seasons to keep them organized all right um career right so for love love <laughs> love energy can cover career it can cover finances it can be friends it can be family it can be co-workers it could just be your environment it could be a pet um it's just love vibration right it's just positive vibration so anything that's positively aspected in your life any area that you're wanting to bring in positivity or have a lot of positivity in that's the energy that we're going to pick up in for my readings okay so just keep that in mind so if you're not looking for a romantic love or you're not interested in a romantic love situation go ahead and just apply it to any of those categories i do like to start off my uh, readings with a quick prayer um, so that's just a time for all of us to say a prayer, affirmations, a mantra, or even just meditate a little bit to connect with the divine, connect with our higher self and connect with our spiritual team. So to help ground us in this moment in time, better connect so that I can provide the most important messages for those who need to hear it. Okay. Um, so again, if you are new, thank you so much for hanging out with me and subscribing. I hope you find my readings helpful and insightful and at least um, useful as a tool in your own spiritual journey and your own energetic development, okay? So we're going to do the prayer and then I'll kind of talk about the energy that I'm feeling for you, Leo Virgos, and then we'll get into your reading, okay? 
<sighs> Heavenly Father, Divine Mother, Holy Spirit, Ascended Masters of Light, my own Divine Ancestral Council, and all Archangels, thank you so, so much for being here with me and with the Cusp Collective. Thank you for covering us all in your love, your light, and your mercy, and lifting us up in courage every day to face every twist and turn that may come and conquer it with grace. We are so thankful that you are here with us. We are so thankful that you walk with us. Thank you for allowing me in this moment in time to connect with the Leo Virgo Cusp Collective to bring forth the most important messages of love, truth, healing, and light for the overall personal development, ascension, and growth of the Leo Virgo Cusp Collective. We are just so grateful for this moment to connect, for this moment to share light, and we love you for walking with us. We love you for guiding us. Please continue to do so for the remainder of our days and the remainder of our soul's existence. And so it is. Ooh, Leo Virgo's soul existence. Okay. Um, definitely very interesting ending there. That kind of just came straight from spirit. So um, I think Leo Virgo's, my Legos, you are really stepping into a bit of expansion in your energy. Um, feeling a bit expansive as well, right? You might be feeling multiple dimensions of yourself, seeing multiple dimensions of yourself in dream space. Um I'm just getting like a very expanded, a very open type of vibration for you guys. I think this eclipse season is definitely bringing up a lot of energy, a lot of um, shadow from that dark side of the moon, right? Giving you a chance to look on that side. Romantic feelings again. You guys, like the past six videos, romantic feelings have just keep coming out. So there are a lot, um, wow, just a lot of revelations happening around you know who really lights a fire in us who really sets us um on this path of freedom who really brings light into our lives and who doesn't right um a lot of what they're telling me right now especially for you a lot of karmic situations may be coming to an end um to where you're like okay I don't really have romantic feelings in this karmic situation I I see now that it was just a lesson to be learned but now there's something that I want to pursue and it's your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yeah. So um, trust in that. Right. Trust in whatever's coming up that it's OK to delve into it. It's OK to look into it. It may catch you by surprise. It may not. Um, but even if it does, make sure that you just take the time to take care of yourself. Articulate that to those around you. Right. Um yeah, romantic feelings. Yeah, so you might just be realizing that you do either want love. Ooh, yes, Leo Virgos. So some of you might have been in this mode of, you know, I'm just going to focus on my money. I'm just going to focus on my job. I'm going to focus on my family. I'm going to just focus on friends. I'm not really interested in a relationship. I think that's about to change. Yeah, <laughs> that's definitely changing for you guys. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. So someone is coming back or... Now, eclipse energy is going to last, right? Eclipse season is going to last until the beginning of June, Gemini season, okay? But eclipse energy lasts within the collective for about six months. So this is just going to be stacked energy, like um, cosmic change, cosmic change stacked on top of one another. So we have that Capricorn um, solar eclipse, right? So that's six months from that moment in time. Then we just had the cancer lunar eclipse. That's six months from that time. And then we'll have another and it'll be six months from then. So you see how that'll just kind of keep piling up. So just expect a lot of um, energy and things coming up from the past that maybe you felt was resolved or you know released or it's like okay yeah I'm over that relationship um those emotions and anything that has not been healed is going to come up to the surface okay and I do feel like it could catch you by surprise a bit but you guys are the cusp of exposure like it's almost like I feel like you're very very dare I say excited to kind of get to this point to where you can release, you can reveal, you can address whatever might have been holding you back or whatever is still lingering in your vortex, right, to offer and to welcome in this newness. So um, we're going to just get one more card, Spirit. What else for my Leo Virgos? Thank you. Retreat. Yeah, it's time to disconnect from the world. 
So this is a call definitely to go within. Yeah, go within, explore. Um, yeah, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So that might be something, uh, Leo Virgos, that you've been working on um, since maybe even before Capricorn season. But definitely that's been highlighted. A little bit of control. So the emotions that have been unhealed could definitely be um, something that you try to control. So let's say you dated somebody or you had a friend in the past that you had a crush on, right? But you never told them or but you felt this very strong connection with them, but it just never worked out or you just kind of told yourself, my feelings aren't real. This is just a little crush. They'll, I'll eventually get over it. You kind of stuffed it down. You kind of let it go. Um, that type of energy is going to come back and you're going to be faced with that decision of, is this something that I want to pursue or is it not? Um, it's definitely something from your past life. You've known each other before your souls know each other some way, somehow. Okay. Um, and then it's time to disconnect from the world. So there is a need to kind of go within to kind of hermit up a little bit, uh, Leo, Virgos, and you do that very well with your Virgo energy, right? So definitely. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So it's that Leo passion, that Leo fire, that desire for affection. Yeah, the seven of cups and the four of swords. That's the need to clear out some emotional confusion. Um, ooh, yeah, and the two of wands to manifest a new path. Okay, so um, they just want me to shuffle this one clean time. Yeah, so I feel like that Leo energy is definitely getting you in your passions. And then you have that Virgo energy wanting to hermit, okay? So Leo, hermit, all over a past life relationship. That's your center. That's the center of this reading, okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and clarify with the Morgan Greer Tarot. Let's see what we've got. Thank you so much. Yeah, five of wands. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. This could have been um, feelings that you might have stuffed down due to some sort of competition. Four of Cups. Yes. Yes. The divine is bringing it back from the past in your dream state. Yeah. Death. Ooh. Scorpionic energy. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. This could also be stemming from Scorpio season. And then you have the Ten of Swords. Definitely, definitely. This is something coming back from the dead. Something that you deaded. Something that you said, okay, nope, that'll never happen. Nope. All right, I let it go. I've made peace that that's just not what it was. Or, you know, definitely had some external conflict about it, right? Like that. Mm. Hold on, y'all. They're talking to me. Okay. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, cool. So, yeah, this death energy is definitely that emotion coming back. You see this white rose? It's that surrender to your emotions. It's surrendering to the process of transformation. It's surrendering to the release and the end of something. And that might have been the energy in the past. So there might have been a lot of competition or maybe a lot of conflict centered around this past life relationship that you just kind of was like, all right, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to transform from it. I'm going to surrender to the competition. I'm not going to fight, right? I think it was more or less that type of situation, like... I'm just going to let this transform. I'm just going to let it be what it is, right? Um, definitely surrender. The death card for me is definitely has high tones of surrendering, needing to surrender to a process, needing to surrender to the end of something for a new beginning to start. Um, and the divine is here with the four of cups, right? Kind of showing you, hey, we're bringing this back from the dead, it's not even though you said you were done thinking about it and you felt like it was over and you bled it all out and you released it all. Guess what's coming back? This <laughs> these feelings. So let's deal with them. Right. That's definitely what uh, <laughs> your guides are definitely trying to guide you to do. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles. Just as a gentle reminder that healing is a slow process. As much as we wish healing could be. Oh, that's too many cards. 
as much as we wish healing could be quick, fast, in a hurry, okay, look, I decided to heal, I said I'm healed, and then it's done, it's, it's, it's a very slow process, and the divine will drag you through a very slow healing process, because it's important for that energy and those emotions to be fully released, dead and gone, no more, in order to let something new come in, so if you stuff something down and was just like, okay, I'm just going to force myself to feel like I'm over it, but then you really weren't over it, right? That's what's coming up this eclipse season, right? All those emotions, all that conflict, all those energies are going to come back trying to sort it out, right? Because it has to be cleared. It has to be addressed. So just trust that. Yeah. Okay. I'm even, <laughs> I think I'm even hearing some of you is just like, these emotions have been maybe even slowly building and you've been trying to kill them. You're like, but they just won't go away. <laughs> That's very nice. That's actually kind of cute. Um, all right. You know, I mean, look, your feelings are real and worth exploring. Leo Virgos, okay? If you've tried to let it go, you've tried to release it, right? You've tried to bring the energy through a death process. You've killed it in your mind with the Ten of Swords. You've let it die. You're like, it's over. It's done. I'm good. I'm moving on. It's fine. But yet it still comes back and it's still strong and you still feel the romantic feelings. I mean, Leo Virgos, that could definitely mean that there's some validity to it. There's some realness here. There might be something to explore maybe there's a reason why you can't get away from it right but also make sure you're checking yourself right so that it's not that you are holding on to it and keeping your claws in it or just really not wanting to let it go um but so you know hold yourself accountable for your own actions but just know that whatever process you're going under or going through or whatever these romantic feelings are connected to it is going to transform right in some shape or form but it is moving slowly let's just clarify this knight of pentacles yeah for a new beginning that's exactly right you're slowly but surely moving towards a new beginning slowly but surely moving towards a new beginning with these romantic feelings okay and it's like yeah you definitely have to let go or forgive or release um or allow some sort of conflict whether that be internal or external to kind of transform but it's going to bring you into a new beginning these romantic feelings which is why the divine is like let's explore this let's really see why you feel this way because then that might reveal to you um an offer, right? That either you want to make Leo Virgos or that someone may want to make towards you. Okay. So that's the kind of end goal. All right. Let's look into past life relationships. Six of pentacles. Six is definitely a soul number. This is something that was definitely generous in the past. Page of pentacles, queen of pentacles, right? Um, Virgo energy for sure. Definitely Virgo energy. Wow, they're just really, look at you, Virgo Leo. Leo energy right here, yeah. So a balance and strength. You've known each other before. Tower, Scorpionic energy here, yeah. I'm getting like very strong revelation energy with this, with the clouds as well. Something might be crumbling down or um, the veil might be being lifted in the dream state um, regarding some sort of strength or some sort of connection you see how it's like she's very in tune with this lion right and the lion is kind of respecting her as well like a lion's not just gonna let you muzzle them right so this lion has to have some sort of energetic reverence for this woman in order for her to even be able to wrap her arm around the lion's head, put the hand under the chin, stroke the nose, like, so it's, it's definitely something that is balanced, right, this past life relationship, whether again, it be a career move, a family member, a friend, a love interest, right, or just a financial situation, it's something that is balanced, and it's balanced based on both of your guys' strengths, or both opportunities' strength, the strength within the opportunity, and I feel like this Queen of Pentacles, the revelation of it being this Queen of Pentacles could be happening or could have happened during Capricorn season 
or this queen of pentacles that you are either connecting with or this is you leo virgo you may have a strong scorpionic uh placement a uh, strong scorpio placement um I'm getting like a Mars, a Scorpio Mars, or a strong Cancer placement, yeah. But ultimately, this past life relationship is moving forward. It's gaining movement because of either some level of generosity. Like, I'm getting Leo Virgos that you might be, like, generosity might be a strength of yours, right? That it being generous, being fair, being balanced, being abundant, being very giving, which is very interesting. I love that that's right next to the queen of pentacles because those are all the attributes of a queen of pentacles. She knows how to invest. She knows how to give. She knows how to nurture, right? She knows how to cultivate. She understands the earth realm. She gets what me, what it means for seasons to happen. And, you know, when's the soil right for this? What does that look like? How much do you water that? When do you put light on this? When do you not put light on it? You know, when do you call it a weed? When do you, that whole thing, how do you prune? How do you groom? How do you allow it to flourish? She's all about the flourish. Um, and it's due to her generous nature. And that's really cool that the Six of Pentacles is right there. So that's definitely a strength of yours um, that is helping you to move forward with the chariot. Helping you to move forward and make a decision. That's Cancerian energy as well. This could have been a revelation around the Cancer full moon on the 10th of January. I'm getting like a weird, weird taste in my mouth. Wow. Am I tapping into someone who's eating? Whoa, okay, that's different. <laughs> I just got like a deli sandwich in my mouth. Like, like I feel like I just took a bite into a deli sandwich that had like pickle, mustard, mayo. Like I'm nowhere near like an eating time. Like haven't had a sandwich. I don't even eat meat like that. So if someone's out there eating and watching this video, like your sandwich tastes good. That's... <laughs> I hope it's a good sandwich. Like, it tastes pretty good to me. Um, or at least it's, I'm smelling it, too. That's awesome. Okay, anyway, back to your reading, y'all. Yeah, it's um, Seven of Wands, which talks about strength as well. Spiritual strength. This is valor. This is being a seasoned fighter when it comes for defending your passions, defending yourself, protecting your energy. Um, this is that mastery of it, right? where you can do it all alone it's like the five of wands is external people coming this is you doing the spiritual work this is you fighting the battles you need to fight so that might definitely have been what came up um in this cancer full moon energy right that maybe either you leo virgos are realizing you know that they're there are some more spiritual energy. There is some more emotional energy. There is some more um, passionate energy, right? Um, that might need to be brought into the light, right? Fought for or at least fought against or at least you standing up for something. Um, let's get one more. Yeah, getting a new perspective, enlightenment definitely so the tower also can be about alignment like aligning the divine coming in and aligning you with a new path and this might be something that you fought for um you've known each other before yeah oh okay so i'm getting that maybe in this past life relationship or this past life connection this could have been an energy or soul tie that you have that failed in the past like in a past life like let's say you built a palace together or you built some sort of foundation and it came crumbling down due to some personal things right some combat right some maybe some spiritual war maybe just yeah, it's something like that. It's it's needing to gain a new perspective on why this is coming back for you. The Virgos, I'm getting quite a few things. Yeah, so this could either be, hang in there with me, y'all. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, so this eclipse season, especially the two eclipses that just have passed, might have brought up or revealed to you reasons as to why this tower crumbled or reasons as to why you went through some sort of battle, some sort of um, setback or crumbling. Yeah, like needing to get a new perspective on what you've been through in the past, either with this person, in your own personal life. Um, like why, yeah, like why this tower came out? Why are you in this, a seasoned spiritual fighter? Like what's, what are you fighting against, right? And then really looking at that and seeing like, oh, okay, I had to fight through all of this. Yeah, there you go. Virgo energy right there. So you have your two major arcana cards with Leo strength and Virgo. Yeah, you had to go within Leo's. You had to go within Leo Virgo's to see the light, to see your strength, right? To find power in that sense of strength. Yeah, gain a new perspective on what you have to offer and how you can take the next steps forward with the chariot energy, where you want to go, um, how you want to move forward either in a relationship or towards a relationship or towards a work opportunity or a career or this could just definitely you being generous with yourself and moving past some sort of past life trauma with this tower and that you might not have been realizing that that's the ba the battle you've been fighting energetically so like if you've been dealing with bouts of depression anxiety um you know, feeling maybe even a little bit manic, like, you know, not feeling very um, grounded or settled. It's because this eclipse season is bringing up things, definitely things from your past life into this life that you're living now for you to clear so that across all space, time, dimensions and realities, that energy can be neutral. OK, um, yeah. So you went within and you found the strength to fight and accept this tower and look at the tower for what it truly is it's a chance for you to balance yourself out to find strength to grow like a thicker skin or a stronger spirit to move you forward with a new enlightenment with a new perspective right so definitely clearing some past life traumas some past life energy very cool very cool leo virgos that's awesome all right let's look into retreat Beautiful. Justice. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, Major Arcanas are really strong with you all. That's pretty good. So this is definitely more or less about your own energetic journey, your own spiritual journey and spiritual lessons that you're going through. Okay. Retreat. What else we got? Justice for a new beginning. You got to go in and bring yourself energetic justice, bring yourself emotional justice, bring yourself clarity. Yeah, and that's exactly what you did this Capricorn season or you started the process of doing because ultimately you know that going through this, clearing out all this karma, clearing out all this energy, the Six of Pentacles could also be about karma as well as the death energy, right? Clearing all of that out. So can the hangman could have a little bit of karma attached to it as well. So can justice. So yeah, definitely a lot of um, karmic energy, past life energy that you're clearing out, Leo Virgos, to have a new beginning, a new just beginning, a new balanced beginning. Anything else for retreat? Thank you so much. Yeah, and to have abundance definitely to have abundance or justice to a situation that involved a lot of people i'm getting that this three of cups could have definitely be con been connected to this five of wands why because we have the ten of wands here yeah yeah needing to bring justice to some outside influences needing to retreat away from other public opinion um with this three of cups this is also talks about celebrations um sharing with friends having your abundance overflow um you know parties that type of vibe needing to bring some sort of justice so that you can have a new beginning and receive this new beginning without the burden 
And this might be the burden, like, this might be you, Leo Virgos, having, like, your friend circle. This also denotes friendships, right? So this could be your friend circle, you know, maybe adding more burden or more stress on to you when it comes to starting a new path. Like, you know, and, you know, friends can definitely come from a good space, but they are more than likely biased, right? That it's not um, an unbiased they don't, they don't really give, well, let me not say they don't. Some friends do. But it's it's easier for a friend to kind of say, no, you shouldn't do that because underlying, you know, there might be some connection that they have or they might miss you, right? So, like, let's say, oh, you want to go travel abroad. And they go, oh, no, don't do that. Like, you're going to be alone. Aren't you going to be scared? da 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 And they try to plant these seeds of doubt or kind of stress you out with this ten of wands. But really, it's only because they probably would miss you. They don't want to be apart from you that long. Who are they going to go hang out with? And, you know, so coming from a more self-serving place, and that's not a bad thing. Like, I'm not trying to say, like, oh, you're, everyone's friends are selfish. No. But you got to keep it in perspective. You got to kind of keep it in context and understand that people are going to come from different places and different levels and modes of understanding. Um, but ultimately, the divine is here to kind of bring justice to Maybe some naysayers about this new path that you want to go on, this new light that you found with your hermit energy, this new balance you have with the Leo strength here and the hermit. Um, yeah. So don't try to just kind of keep maybe the opportunity or the justice that might be coming in for you. Um, Leo Virgos, a, not a secret, but just keep it to yourself. Retreat a little bit with it. Let your allow your own energy to marinate on it before maybe you share it with friends, right? Because I feel like if you share it prematurely, it might add more stress than um than necessary, right? Yeah, so it's just time to disconnect from the world, definitely. It's time to kind of go within and hang out with yourself a little bit. Why? Because it's time for you to manifest magician energy. Beautiful. Yeah, this is a time, this eclipse season is going to be a very, very important time of manifestation for you, Leo Virgos. So take the time to really align yourself, to really purge whatever needs to be purged, you know, speak, let it all out, but make sure you're clearly communicating like with others around you, you know, you're going through something or, you know, just, just keep that in mind. I think that's kind of important for you all during this season because it's going to be quite intense emotionally but ultimately the divine is calling you to retreat bringing some justice to a situation so that you can manifest a new beginning worry-free and stress-free yeah let's grab one more for retreat thank you so much yeah five of pentacles feeling a little bit insecure about this new beginning um like i was saying this could be your friend's Saying, you know how, you know, sharing unsolicited opinions or, you know, kind of saying, well, oh, you've never liked that or no, that's not the type. And, you know, you just definitely want to make sure you're living it for you, right? As much as possible. You're living your life for you. You're not living it for other people. People can give you their opinion on what to do. But ultimately, like I said in the beginning, you know yourself better than any reader, better than any friend, better than any family member. If it doesn't feel right and it doesn't align with you, if it's causing you stress or, you know, their opinions or other people's opinions are causing you stress, just retreat from it. Do your very best to, like, not allow that to affect you. Do your very best to just stay true to who you are as the magician here and avoid being in this insecure kind of um, feeling lack, feeling beaten, feeling battered, feeling low, feeling very down, this low vibrational energy, right? And it definitely could be um, coming from some outside influences. We also have that five of wands out there, yeah. I want to get one overall for retreat. Yeah. Why? Because this new beginning is going to put you into the nine of pentacles. That's what you're trying to manifest. Independent abundance, right? A path for yourself, stability for yourself, a sturdy foundation for yourself. You really want to be connected in one with the universe and the universe is wanting to be one with you, which is why they're asking you to retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world, step into this magician power to manifest your way out of this five of pentacles vibration, out of this ten of wands vibration towards a new beginning, right? 
or about a new beginning so that you can be this nine of pentacles, this affluent person, right, on your own right. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very beautiful energy, Leo Virgos. Um, we're going to go ahead and check in with the Crystal Angel Oracle deck. Do one more. Thank you so much, Ancestors, for this beautiful spread. Yeah, Yellow Jasper, control issues. Utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you. Definitely, that's that retreat energy. This Three of uh, Cups could be individuals in your life where you feel like the more abundance you get, the more control or the more oppressive they are towards you. Um, that's been coming up a little bit. I think... Um, a lot of the collective is kind of realizing how just how much like material can tie you into things, just how much maybe their light or their love or their abundance has been benefiting other people around them and needing to kind of make some tweaks and some adjustments on that. OK, that's been coming up in quite a few readings. Um, I wouldn't be shocked if that's also the tone for Aqua season, but we'll see. OK. But you work with some yellow jasper if you can to kind of relieve yourself of some control issues um, or being worried about being controlled by others. Okay, that's also considered a control issue. All right, these cards are wanting to talk. Thank you so much, Crystal Angels. What you got? Wow, that went right there. Ooh, clear quartz. Let yourself feel all of your emotions. Your entire rainbow spectrum of feeling is sending you important messages and guidance. This is a time to clear your energy. And I love that that fell right under the romantic feelings. Like I was saying in the beginning and picking up, some of my Leo Virgos might have had some very strong romantic feelings for a person, place, or thing, or, you know, very strongly passionate about something with that Leo energy, wanting to give affection or wanting to receive affection. All of that is valid. OK, all of that is valid, whether it's you want to receive affection, you want to give it, you want to just feel it, you want to see it happen for someone else, whatever the case may be. Feel it all. Feel it all. The entire rainbow. If you're upset that you don't have a love relationship, if you're bothered by the one you're in, if you love the one you're in or you love being single, whatever is coming up during this eclipse season, feel it all because those are important messages for you, important directions and directives from spirit on this is something you need to focus on. This is something that needs to be released. This is something that needs to be healed in order to receive this new beginning, right? So that you don't have to worry about feeling like you're being controlled by others because you're in control of what you feel and you're very aware of what you feel very very beautiful anything for past life Ooh, aquamarine i love that divine life purpose trust the signs in your inner guidance which are leading you to fulfillment so this could definitely denote um, some sort of spiritual connection spiritual union a twin flame um, or a very sacred soulmate uh, but ultimately, this past life relationship, again, whether it be a career that you're aligning yourself with, um, that you're realizing you have the gifts for or the strength for or the um, talent for, it's purpose for you. It's the divine. Trust the signs and the inner guidance that are leading you to fulfillment. This could be leading you towards someone, right? Going within, looking at the signs, realizing, oh, I do want to be generous. I do want to be with someone, right? I do want to uh, move forward in my life. I don't want to be stagnant or I don't want to stay where I am. Trust that nudge and just move accordingly, right? As much as you can. Now, you know, it's easier said than done. I totally get that. It's so easier said than done. But just try your best to get a plan going together, right? And then the divine can help you move those pieces um, as you're creating that plan, okay? It's 38. We got a little bit of time. I'm going to grab a couple more and just see. Yes, sapphire. That's coming. <laughs> Easy does it. Yep. Your health, happiness, and abundance require a gentle approach to life and work. That is the divine calling me on the carpet saying, no, you're good. That's all they need to know. <laughs> easy does it, Tiger, right? Take it easy. Take it easy. 
So yeah, yellow jasper, work with on your control issues, okay? Get some clear quartz to help you feel all of your emotions, to clear out your aura, clear out your energetic space, clear out your mind, clear out your soul, even clear your body. And then work with a little bit of aquamarine um, to just kind of get in tune with your divine life purpose and understand that it's going to be easier than maybe feeling oppressed, right? It's going to feel very breezy. It's going to feel very good. That's how you know it's meant for you, um, particularly if this is a career, right? Now, relationships aren't always easy. They're not rainbows and butterflies. But if this is a career path, it's going to feel easy. You're going to ease into this divine life purpose. It's going to be something that comes natural to you, Leo Virgos, okay? So if you're starting to get little glimpses of yourself in the future with these eclipses, because dream state is definitely going to be affected and very vivid um, for all of us so if you start getting little glimpses or just little hints here and there on a path that would be a balance for you an equal give and take right that you feel strong in that highlights your strengths and allows you to move forward with this chariot right and the strength and the six of pentacles but it takes for you to look at a new perspective maybe on your current life or a new perspective on what it actually means to be abundant or prosper or prosperous in this lifetime, okay? Um, and this is definitely a past life relationship. So you could have lived a past life in this occupation. I don't know why they want me to focus really on career for y'all, but that's something important. Um, and you might have been maybe fighting against a tower moment with your career, that's causing you to go within and be like, okay, what does the divine really want from me? Why do I feel so drawn to this occupation? Why do I feel like I want to leave this job? Why do I feel like I want to move somewhere else, right? It's those types of questions that the divine is wanting you to go dig deep within and figure out. And you have all the capacity to do so. This is the perfect time to do it during eclipse season because it's going to help you shift, right? So ideally, we use cosmic energy and the shifts in the planets because they are predictable, because they are consistent to help us evolve and help us move and clear out and go with our, our own energetic flow, right? To get to where we want to be, right? So take advantage of these moon cycles, take advantage of, you know, these eclipse energies to really allow yourself to shift your life positively, right? Set positive intentions, um, you know, work deep on your shadows, right? Try to integrate more of your shadow into yourself with more light, right? Shine a light in the darkness for other people. It's that type of vibe that's going to help you keep your vibration high um, and be able to release any control control issues and step into this magician energy to bring justice to maybe, you know, some situations that um, weren't necessarily benefiting you, right? Where other people were just maybe benefiting from you trying your best and putting your energy out there. So setting some boundaries, retreating, very important for you during this eclipse season, okay? Um, very beautiful reading. I, I love it. I love where you guys are. This is awesome. Make sure you're feeling those emotions, man. Feel it to heal it, all right? Feel it to heal it. It is easier said than done. Um, know that you're not alone. I'm in this boat with all of y'all. Like, I'm going through the same transits, right? I'm affected by the same energy. So we all got this. We can do this. So stay strong, my Leo Virgos. I know that's going to be easy for you, very much so. Stand in that power. And I will see you next season, okay? Namaste.